How's it everybody? This is Mundo and uh, I got a scuzz box. I'm super excited about this scuzz box made by KHDK uh, for a bunch of reasons. Uh, I have never played this before and I know I'm already going to like it. I thought I'd share that out of the box experience. But um, when you read the description of this, it is a germanium based um, fuzz pedal. It's voiced like a vintage one, which is even better. That's what we're all chasing. But then they add some modern ingenuity to it. So we're getting that modern vintage or vintage modern sound that we're all chasing. Um, the other reason, many reasons, but the other reason is the DK and the KHDK. The DK, David Caron, good friend, good guitarist, knows the music business and um, knows what guitarists want. So I know he's going to deliver. KH, the Kirk Hammett, from Metallica, who doesn't like him? He knows tone, winning combination right there. And um, yeah, a another reason in reading their description is they have that extra switch that other fuzz boxes give you, that give you that gnarly, decimated, unpredictable sound. And I, I want that as well. Although the main sound I'm chasing after uh, is that lead, soaring, creamy, round, warm, flat top sound. So um, let's check it out. I've already sliced it open. And uh, let's take it out of the box. It's in the bag, which is really cool. Um, when you think about it, if you throw it like this into the, a gig bag on the way to the gig, it's not going to chip in your other pedals as well as get chipped. Directions. Yeah. Some foot pads, which is nice because I've bought pedals and scraped the foot pads off to uh, make it flush with my pedal board. So it's nice to have that option. So yeah, this bag's a nice touch. And check out this gnarly color scheme. Nice. This is cool. Beautiful and gnarly at the same time. I don't know what you call this. It's maybe a momentary switch, but it doesn't click. Feels good though. And then we've got our, you know, fuzz, volume, tone. I think that's going to be self-explanatory. And then there's a deep knob. We'll find out what that's about. Buffer. Find out what that is. Toggle. And then if you notice, We've got a fuzz toggle, scuzz, fuzz, scuzz. All right, I'm going to hook the scuzz box up with a few different guitars and check it out. All right, I'm back. I have a Washburn Go Top Idol with P90s, and I love the way P90s sound with the fuzz pedal. We're going through a Blue Guitar Amp 1. It's a 100-watt amp, and I'm using the vintage channel with a little, little bit of reverb, and that's it. But I do have some edge and some bite to my clean sound. And that's what I like to pair an app, how I like to pair an app with a, a fuzz pedal and uh, let them both help each other to get that sweet spot. So let's turn on the scuzz box. All right. Straight up, everything straight up. That's nice. Um, got the buffer. I think the buffer off or on, however that is, I guess on. Right now it sounds good. The neat thing about this, and we're talking about that modern part of the of adding to the vintage circuitry, is um, when you plug into a fuzz pedal, it, it always sounds good. When you get it into a band situation, you sometimes disappear. And when you're going for that creamy warm sound as well, it gets muddy. So you can get muddy, you can disappear once you start playing with a um, you know, drummer and a bass player. And the other thing, is if you're in your pedal board, uh, all of a sudden it could suck the tone out or not, or the tone won't be the same. And uh, you have some options. One is to use the battery, which I am using now. I'm using the battery on this fuzz pedal right now. But um, the other, I, I bet you that's the smart reason to have this, is you get the option of um, having a buffer or not a buffer and where you're putting in your chain. I do want to put it in the front of the pedal board as much as possible, maybe a boost before it. But um, that's a great option. Let's go back to this guy's pedal. That's kind of nice. Tone. Might be a little too muddy. And then this deep thing, I think it would add the low and bass registers and tighten up the bass as well. Nice. <laughs> 
really nice. It's giving me exactly what I want, that creamy sound. It's feeling big and fat in the room. And um, I'm going to grab another guitar. All right, NX6, another Washburn. This is one of my main guitars, and this is what I would play on, on my own gigs. So uh, this is kind of what I'd be using the fuzz box a lot. Once again, king sound. A little bit of bite. And uh, left the fuzz, the scuzz, the way it is. Really, really, really nice. And I actually think there's too much fuzz on it now, but it's super easy to play. And there's still a lot of definition to all those notes, even when I'm... Yeah, just a lot of definition. Let's clean it up a little. So I would most likely use that sound for uh, like a session. Cleans up and it sounds a bit 70. But I'll add a little more fuzz. This deep knob to me acts like a sweet spot. It does add some bass and bottom end, but it's definitely a sweet spot. All right, so this is my modern vintage guitar. It sounds very vintage. Once again, the clean sound. We're gonna add the scuzz box. Wow. Okay, so let's dirty it up a little more and give it some more fuzz. Add some more bass, tom. I never used the fuzz box for chords much, but I gotta have fun this year. I know I don't got my Hendrix thumb. Gotta get that Hendrix thumb up there. <laughs> it's nice. So as an experiment, let's see how this sounds like with a boost. Let's drop the fuzz, as a boost, excuse me. Drop the fuzz, tongue. That's nice. Let's see, drop the deep. I like that. And if I played it clean. So it just adds an extra sauce. So that's, that's cool. That's another tone you can have at your disposal. Time to get scuzzy. Let's go. <laughs> so that's really cool. You just got to go with it. Let's uh, back up some tone. What happens if we add some fuzz? <laughs> this is 
great. So it makes noise, and sometimes that's what you got to have, some noise and some grit, especially in the back of a mix sometimes. It, it's a nice layer to add, but it's just fun. <laughs> So there you go. There's a bit of uh, uh, everything there. I definitely will be using this pedal. It's going to go in my spaghetti pedal board, which is almost done now that I found this pedal. This uh, fuzz quest is done. And uh, job well done. Handmade in the USA, KHDK. This is a great pedal. I, I'm interested to try your other pedals now. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, I can channel my inner Eric Johnson with this pedal. <laughs> I know I gotta learn to play that right. That's just fun. All right, until next time, this is Mundo, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm finally getting off my butt and doing these YouTube videos. I also do a real cool working guitarist series that is called The Working Guitarist for Washburn, and you can find that on their site and on YouTube as well. Until next time, aloha. Thank you.